Did you ever get bullied by someone? Someone who just keeps threatening you or, or when you're young, maybe punching you, hitting you, harassing you? I was, I was bullied. You got to remember, I, I went through school younger than most of my peers. I was over a year younger. And so I was physically smaller than most of my classmates throughout grade school, middle school, high school. And that's because, of course, I, I was academically ahead of everybody else, but then physically I was more than a year behind. So I was, I was smaller. And uh, some people would try to pick on me. And I remember one day a guy that, that kept picking on me in high school, that just kept badgering me. I just decided to end it. And one day I just walked up behind him right in the hallway, right in the, in the break between classes. And I just put him in a neck choke and I just held it <laughs> until he couldn't breathe anymore. And uh, I'd let it go. And of course he acted like totally angry and everything. And, and from that day forward, he never bullied me again because it sent him a message that said, you know what? I'm restraining myself from ending you, and you shouldn't mess with me. You shouldn't mess with someone just because they're smaller than you. Because a small guy who knows how to do something, like put you in a neck choke, can actually, uh, you know, uh, make you go unconscious <laughs> right in the middle of, a, of the floor in a high school. So that's what I did. And uh, he didn't mess with me, and funny thing, nobody else messed with me from that day forward as well. You got to be willing to fight for yourself. You got to be willing to stand up and stop being picked on. And today, what we're seeing in society is that leftists are bullies. Look at these bullies running around society in public spaces, screaming and shouting at conservatives and Trump supporters, calling for conservative speakers to be killed, executed, calling for the president to be executed. These left wing morons have no idea of the fight that they're in for if they get what they want. Because as I've warned in an emergency broadcast that you can see on naturalnews.com, a video, not just a podcast, but a full video, I've warned that the left is trying to start a civil war in America because they think, they stupidly think that they can win it because, I don't know, what, I don't know what it is. Bullies always think that no one will challenge them. And the conservatives in America are, are like the way I was in high school, where we're being polite, we're, we're following the rules, we are taking abuse on purpose to avoid escalating a conflict for the moment. But when you get in our face and you keep abusing us and you keep violating the rules of civility, and if you try to attack us, we the people are going to take you down so quickly, you won't know what hit you. Overwhelming tactical response is what's coming for the left if they continue to drive this into a civil war. As I've warned in my video, whoever shoots first loses, so be sure that you don't initiate violence, but be prepared to end it quickly when the left loses it and tries to go for broke as they will try to do. Leftists think that they're following a playbook of communist China and communist Cuba and communist Soviet Union, revolutions and takeovers and coups. And it, throughout history, an enraged, hate-filled bully mob of radical leftists, they have very often been successful. They've been successful in taking over the, uh, the, the political power of the country and taking over the media and taking over the population and, and going door to door and executing conservatives or, or people who were trying to protect their nation. They've been successful at that. But the difference is we the people have a second amendment. The second amendment means that there are over, I just read an updated statistic, over 400 million firearms in America today. I believe that's the latest stat. I thought it was only 300 million. Seems like it's over 400 million. We have lots of guns in America and lots of people who know how to use them effectively. And when the left keeps poking the bear, when the left keeps bullying people and committing violence against conservatives and begging 
for conflict and begging for kinetic warfare and begging for a response, sooner or later they will provoke a response. And that response will be overwhelming tactical force against leftists. And probably, I'm guessing, although I don't condone it, this is not a call for a battle plan, this is a, an analysis, I predict that the headquarters of Google, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter will be overrun. Because those, those organizations are part, part of the bullies. They're, they're the ones bullying the free speech of conservatives in America. The left is pushing us to this conflict. Think about Antifa. They're domestic terrorists. Think about Maxine Waters now calling for essentially open violence against Trump supporters in public places, at gas stations, movie theaters, and restaurants. She's calling for it. She's condoning it. These people are insane. But just like bullies in high school, the way you get them to stop bullying you is not to, not to try to negotiate with the bully, not to try to appease the bully, but to fight the bully. Kick him in the balls, punch him in the face, put him in a chokehold. Do what is necessary to send a message to the bully or just put him down. I mean, when I was in high school, I didn't even know anything about martial arts. I, I hadn't been trained in fighting and certainly hadn't been trained in firearms, none of that stuff. But even in high school, I knew enough to put a chokehold on somebody that they were defenseless if you just walk up behind them. I knew enough to take somebody down to the ground unconscious if I wanted to. I didn't because I showed restraint. And now you fast forward into adult society. Leftists are not just bullying us. They are threatening to kill us. They are silencing us. They are taking away our First Amendment rights. They are threatening to take away our Second Amendment rights. They want to overthrow our nation. They want to murder our president. Leftists have become dangerous domestic terrorists. And the way that you deal with those terrorists, once it escalates, once they take it into a kinetic warfare phase, you don't just put them in a chokehold. You put them down permanently. That's the way you deal with them. Because they are a threat to our society. They're a threat to your safety. They're a threat to law and order. They're a threat to our democracy. You put them down permanently with overwhelming tactical force once that day comes. And that's what you need to be prepared for in your mind and in your heart because that day is coming. It wasn't easy for me in high school to make that decision to walk up behind that bully and put him in a chokehold. He was bigger than I was. I could have been hurt. His friends could have jumped me. But if you're not willing to stand up and fight, and they're going to abuse you for the rest of your life. And in the case of politics, that means they're going to steal your country. They're going to steal your liberties. They're going to take, eventually, your property, your firearms, your Second Amendment rights. They've already tried to oppress your First Amendment rights all across the Internet. And they're now shouting people out of restaurants. This is what the left has become. Be prepared. They're going to take it into kinetic warfare. They're going to try to spark a civil war. Massive bloodshed is what they want. When that day comes, you need to be prepared to join others like myself, the small guys who are tired of being bullied, who are going to stand up to violence, and join with the millions of, Amer of Americans who are going to respond with overwhelming tactical force once the left initiates the violence. We will not start the shooting. We will end it. Thank you for listening. Mike Adams here, The Health Ranger, NewsTarget.com, NaturalNews.com. Take care. Learn more at HealthRangerReport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at HealthRangerStore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at HealthRangerStore.com.